Hi everyone, Frederick here with a uh, new video. I spent the last couple of days to uh, upgrade the imbalance uh, study, added a few new features. The main features are uh, visual options and we can now also overlay the blocks on other charts. Let's uh, start with the disclaimer and get that out of the way. Trading involves substantial risk of loss is not suitable for all investors. You should carefully consider whether trading is suitable for you and you may lose all or more of your invest initial investment. Only trade with risk capital. Money, if lost, would not affect your lifestyle or financial stability. Past performance is not indicative of future results. I'm not a financial advisor or a financial planner. I do not give any, any trading recommendations to buy or sell financial products. I also do not make any promises or guarantees with regards to uh, profits or losses that can be prevented that out of the way let's uh, start with the new features I will walk you through the settings uh, some changes that were made and how they affect your uh, look and feel of the study now, I loaded a, a numbers bar study here and the imbalance uh, stacked imbalance draw study okay we have the settings here nothing changed much on this block um, there's still the uh, number of adjacent levels, the uh, threshold percentage, the volume filters are still there. Um, and I move this uh, filter up as well. For projection uh, is one of the selection uh, modes for display and until intercept. Those are still there. For the forward projection block you will have to add your number here. And if you select until intercept uh, you will need to have a look at these two settings. I will walk you through them. Fourth projection, it's, it's uh, currently selected now, will uh, create a, a block that's a fixed block. And blocks are fixed and are drawn with a rectangle draw tool. Um, the lines here we are using right now, that's the until intercept lines. Um, that's this one, these extension lines. Um, you can use them and they will run until intercepted. The um, blocks, rectangle blocks, are seen with the default colors and transparency uh, level. If you want to change them, you can use config tool, uh, configuration tool, settings. Um, as I've shown that the uh, fixed blocks with the projection, the forward projection uh, mode are rectangle draw tools, you can uh, check that out. You can use uh, tools config, rectangle config, to make and change eight different configurations of that particular draw tool. And in this case, I uh, use TC1 and 2 to um, configure the look and feel of these blocks differently. So let's move them back to uh, the, the, the default setting. Select here, none, and they will turn back to default. So that's the first um, improvement that was made. If we use the uh, until intercept, we have uh, two options. We can either extend the unintercepted blocks uh, with a number of bars or we can fully extend the unintercepted product blocks. Um, right now it's um, let's set to only five bars. You will see that the intercepted blocks here are uh, shorter and the uh, it's better to look at this on the 15 minute overlay here. You see that the unintercepted blocks are extended by five bars. That happens on every chart. Um, the intercepted blocks are no longer user editable. Uh, the unintercepted block, like this one, uh, can be uh, quickly changed in, in style if needed. Um, the unintercepted blocks also can be uh, given uh, a different style. Let's do that for the bit block and the ask block. 
that's the open blocks, the unintercepted blocks are configured here. And we'll apply. You see that here, the, uh, these are still the rectangle draw tool configurations. We are with until intercept and number of bars. If we want to use the fully extended one, we have different um, draw tool to take into account. So let's do that. Let's move. Uh, we have until intercept. We're going to fully extend the blocks and keep the settings as they are. You'll see that the, uh, the blocks are now fully extended. They don't stop at that five bar thing. Uh, they also change color. How is that? Uh, we said that uh, the open blocks would have a configuration 1 and 2, but since the draw, the draw style, the draw tool, uh, is now an extended rectangle, we need to uh, set those configuration settings differently. See, I already did that to make the point. These are configuration settings of the extended rectangle. So you can play around with it, set different uh, configurations for your blocks. So that's um, also possible to set different configurations for the intercepted blocks. So let's say the bid block and the ask block are going to have, that are intercepted, are going to have a different style. You can set that here. And those blocks, the uh, uh, intercepted blocks, those are uh, rectangles. Okay. So the... Uh, The uh, intercepted equals uh, rectangles. The open, open, intercepted are extended. So that's the visual aspects of these uh, configurations. You see here the intercepted are now adjusting to the rectangle config, as I showed earlier. What's else on the list? We have a little price level tweak. Um, as you see here on the on the numbers bar, um, it looks it looks nice. You have um, the block encapsulating the numbers, but the actual price level goes through the numbers, so the block is a little bit higher. And if you look at uh, at the five minutes, for instance, uh, let's check it out. Let's check out this top level here. see that um, the block is a half tick higher than the actual price. So it looks good on the numbers bar, but it might, depends how quickly, how, how picky you are, but it might be confusing, half a tick confusion on the normal chart. So I had a little option there to uh, do that a little bit differently. Um, so that's called this this option, adjust the price level of blocks for use with numbers bars. If you say yes, it will look good on the numbers bars. If you say no, it will change it and it will be perfect on that five minute or the, the other 50 minute on the normal bar. Uh, that's that. Um, then overlaying on charts, you already see that uh, um, the overlay is uh, performing. Um, 
see here that uh, is the five minute is the 15 the 15 is uh, of course uh, picture perfect with the start and the stop bars um, all fine the five minute it looks uh, a bit differently there's uh, these that look different because uh, they seem to be uh, starting at the wrong bar actually they're not I'll explain it later and you see this one this seems to be um, topped off earlier than the interception I'll explain the first thing uh, first the um, actual blocks of imbalance are calculated on the 15 minute so that's after every bar close so the 1400 bar closes at 1415 that's when the blocks are calculated so that's also the time the blocks are being displayed on the low time frame chart in this case so they will display from that 1400 bar that will not change so if you're looking at the four uh, at the five minute uh, bar and uh, 1400 nothing 14 5 nothing 14 10 nothing 14 15 boom and you have those blocks visual in this case they're all intercepted on that same bar um, but uh, you would see them when they are made not earlier and the interception <coughs> in live trading this will not happen because uh, it will just stop drawing at the interception when you first load the study every bar is calculated only once uh, so this bar is basically not there on the 15 minute chart there's only 45 and the 1300 bar so the intercept happens on the 45 well inside the 45 bar so it stops on the 45 in real in real updating chart this will happen in real time in this bar at this time so you will not you will see a perfect representation of that interception so that's the overlay um, something else on the overlay yeah the, the setting is uh, here you have to select it that you want to use it so that to yes and then you can fill out a list of chart numbers here it's a comma separated uh, list and you basically add uh, your chart numbers there's a maximum of 10 just for performance um, issues uh, not want to extend that too much you can find the chart numbers in your chart book uh, right next uh, to the, the symbol um, and use them if you overlay it on a on a chart with a different symbol it will not work you will get a error message and it will not be overlaid so that's the overlay and we almost there yeah the performance uh, performance is is good there's no no big issues there but since we are using uh, draw tools and we have used been using the uh, uh, transparency level we might want to consider to uh, not load too many uh, days on your chart um, so it keeps down the number of uh, historical um, drawn blocks uh, even better set that number even lower to two or three days if you don't really need to look at the past for these uh, blocks so that's uh, the main thing on let's see if I missed any settings I don't think so uh, yeah all the other settings are, are the same I think right now we have a nice uh, tight and clean uh, setup uh, new features for this study hope you like it um, if you already have it it will be uh, available to you uh, you just have to remove the old study from your charts um, then uh, save the chart book without the study then you restart share a chart and your new version will automatically download uh, you might need to upgrade uh, that depends um, it's uh, compiled in the latest version so probably in uh, 
you have to be in the uh, newest version as well. If uh, if you're not, it will be uh, stated in the message log. So if you don't see the the study output, check the message log. It will uh, will say what what's happening. There's still a one-time 10 day 10 day trial available for people that uh, have not used it. And uh, you can check out the blog post. It's been updated, and uh, I hope you uh, enjoy. Um, I'll be out with a new study on automated trading. And it'll be quite quite uh, happy to uh, walk you through that one. And uh, until the next time, thank you for your attention.